This video is sure to exceed your imagination. It is a metal DIY innovation. You will be amazed at the crazy people who make this crazy things. Hi guys. This time, you can look forward to a rather unique video. If you can imagine what I'm going to show you in this video, you are a genius. Actually, I have a problem. The problem is that as I buy and build new tools, the problem has become even bigger. The problem is that I don't have enough space to work. So I invented a revolutionary tool. In this video, I will introduce you to this revolutionary tool. I hope this video will help you push the limits of your ideas. Let me explain. As I said before, I had a workspace. I am someone who is always looking to build something. I especially like to work with metal. Even now, I am building a 5-axis CNC machine, so I need to make metal parts. But to machine metal, I need a machine tool. So I bought the ones I needed and made the ones I couldn't buy myself. Lathe Milling machine Drilling machine and so on. For hand work, I also need a workbench and a vise. I also need a surface plate to measure parts. Finally, I can do most things in this small normal room. That is a very good thing. But I don't have enough space to work. It's very inefficient. I need a bigger workshop of my own. Then one day I was deeply troubled. I felt hopeless, as if I were locked in a prison cell. My tools were gradually increasing and the room was full of them. If I did not reduce the number of things, my family would complain. Because this room is not just my room. Would I not be able to continue metalworking? I was very depressed. I picked up my iPhone to watch Wosum CNC Freak, which is said to be the best and funniest YouTube channel in the world to make me feel better. Then I thought to myself. This iPhone contains so many functions for such a small device. We used to have to buy camera, computer, phone, TV, music player, and so on, each separately. And if we had everything, we would need a lot of space. But now, with an iPhone, we can do almost anything. So I came up with an idea. I realized that if I didn't have the space to work with, I could just put all the tools I needed together and make it smaller. It wouldn't be as small as an iPhone, but I thought I could fit everything inside an aluminum case. That way, I wouldn't need a large space. What a genius I am. I thought I would become Stephen Jobs. I trusted my imagination and started building it. This is a reuse of a spindle from a previously used lathe.
The aluminum case didn't seem very strong, so I will reinforce the inside with carbon fiber. It will look better and I have extra material to do it. The reinforcement is complete. Well, I think it went well. It looks pretty good. I like it. I will attach the parts to this carbon fiber.
Completed. I have packed this aluminum case with many different functions. The spindle is used for lathe machining, but also as a drill chuck and milling chuck. The machine has X, Y, and Z axes, so it can be used as a milling machine for some machining. It can also be used as a surface plate and a vise can be fixed. In the second part of the video, I will try to machine various objects. Do you find it a very useful tool for you? 
Maybe it needs to be improved. Maybe it will perform better than you can imagine. Please look forward to it. Also, the purpose of making this tool is to speed up the fabrication of a crazy 5-axis CNC machine that I am currently building. This machine is based on a pretty crazy concept. If you like this video, you will probably like this home-built 5-axis CNC machine project as well. If you empathize with my project, why don't you become a member and support this channel? There are few benefits, but as long as you are a member, your name will appear at the end of the videos as a patron. In other words, you can be a part of this project. So, please look forward to the next video.